Hey, everyone, I'm back with uh, chapter 10 and 9. Talk about uh, the new tablets of stone. And it says this. It says, At the time the Lord said to me, Cut for yourself two tablets of stone, like the first, and come up to me on the mountain, and make an ark of wood, and I will write on the tablets the words that were on the first tablets that you broke. And you shall put them in the ark. So I, so I made an ark of Achaia wood, and cut two tablets of stones, Lot the first and went up to the mountain with the two tablets in my hand, and he wrote on the tablets in the same writing as before the Ten Commandments that the Lord has spoken to you on the mountain out of the midst of the fire on the day of the assembly, and the Lord gave them to and the Lord gave them to me. Then I turned and came down from the mountain and put that tablets in the ark that that uh that I had made, and they, and then says uh, and there they they are, as the Lord commanded me. The people of Israel journeyed from Beorth, Beni, Jachin, to Mazara. There Aaron died, and there he was buried. And his son Eleazar ministered as priest in his place. From there they journeyed to Gudda Goda. From Gudda Goda to Japatha. I went with brooks of water at that time. The Lord set apart the tribe of Levi to carry the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord to stand for the Lord to minister to him and to bless in his name to this day. Therefore, Levi has no portion or inheritance with his bro with his brothers. The Lord is his inheritance, as the Lord your God said to him. I myself stay on the mountain, as at the first time, forty days and forty nights. And the Lord listened to me that that time also. The Lord was was unwilling to destroy you. And the Lord said to me, Arise, go on your journey at the head of the people, so that they may go in and possess the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Circumcise your heart. And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to love him, and to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and to keep the commandments and the statutes of the Lord, which I am commanding you today for your good? Behold, to the Lord your God belong heaven and the heaven of heaven, the earth with all that is in it. Yet the Lord set his heart in love on your fathers and chose their offspring after them. You above all people, you as you are this day. Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart, and be no longer stubborn. For the Lord your God is God of gods, meaning he, Jesus Christ is God. He is there's no other God but Him. And Lord of lords, the great, the mighty, and the awesome God, who is not partial and takes no bribe. He executes justice for the, for the, for the fatherless and the widow, and loves the sojourner, giving him food and clothing. Love the sojourner, therefore, therefore, for you were sojourners in the land of Egypt. You shall fear the Lord your God, you shall serve him, and hold fast to him. And by his name you shall, you shall swear. He is your praise, he is, he is your God, who has done for you these great and terrifying things that, that your eyes have seen. Your fathers went down to Egypt, seventy persons, and now the Lord your God has made you as numerous as, as the stars of heaven. So, one what's going on here is basically God gives Moses um, basically a new tablet of stone because, because the ones he had he threw down and broke them so God gave them another two tablets of stone and um which is, the thing, which is also you know, the Ten Commandments and basically um what it's saying here is um like I said, I'll go when it says God, when it says God of gods and Lord of lords, meaning that Jesus Christ is God. He is the true God. And he's over heaven, the the universe, earth, star. I mean everything. Everything's in the universe. He's over. He's over. Like I said, he's over heaven, universe, earth itself. He's he's over. He's over, he's even up. He's even over hell, man. I mean Jesus, who is God. And like I say he's over heaven, the universe. Whatever heaven is here on earth, he's over, he's in command, you know. Because um, even Satan has to get permission from God to do things here on earth. Um, and, and Jesus, who is God, is also over hell. I mean, he's, he's over it all because he's God. But anyway, um, this chapter 10 pretty much is, is God's just giving um, Moses the, 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 the Ten Commandments again because he, the, one, the Ten Commandments that he had, he's thrown out and broke them. So God has given. Moses, uh, another uh, stone, or yeah, another another stone of the Ten Commandments. But anyway, and, um, 
you know, God's just him that he's over everything. He's over heaven. He's over the universe. He's over hell. I mean, he's, he's over it all. And whatever happens here on earth has been ordained by God to happen for a reason. And, um, even Satan and the demons of hell have to get permission from, for, they even they have to get permission from God to do things here on earth. As you see in, in Job, when, when God, when, when, you know, of course when Satan, um, travels to heaven, of course Satan's not in hell. Satan is here on earth roaming around the world trying to destroy who he can. He travels from, he travels from earth to heaven and back to get, to get permission from God. To do that, to do things here on Earth, and of course you see that in Job, Satan traveled from Earth to Heaven and back um, to get permission from God to do things here. So God is even over the devil, because the devil is just, just an angel, man. I mean, he, you know, he was he's a fallen angel. That's all he is. You know, he's just a, you know, and he's just pure evil. And but God is over him, and Satan has to get permission from God to do things here on Earth. So there you go. Anyway, that's chapter 10, and I'll be right back with chapter 11 in a minute.